Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to look at a string API problem that is given a list of string, return a map of the string and its length. So we see a fruits list is given to us with orange, banana, kiwi in the list. And you need to give an output where the name in the list and its uh, equivalent size is mentioned. Like for banana, we have six, for orange, we have six, and for kiwi, we have four. So for this, let's start with taking the list, stream, and collect. Collectors dot to map is the function that we have to use. Let me just import this. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to do is we have to return whatever is present in the map. Okay. So for that fruit, fruit, this returns us with that. Okay. And then we need to get the length of each of the string. So for that, we can use uh, string method reference and length. As you know, that string class has this length method. So that is why we are doing this. And I think that's all. Yeah. So this is getting the name. And this is for getting the length of each string. So as you know that when we use streams, we are converting the list into streams so that each element can be worked upon. And that is how we get the name individually and the length. Okay. So this gives us back a map with string and integer because string and length gives us back an integer let me just print it and we are getting our output Okay, so there's a situation that may arise that is like you may get a duplicate. And you know that in map, the key can't be duplicate and this value which we are providing is acting as the key, right? So in this situation, you will see that we face an exception, illegal state exception. You will just see it we get illegal state exception, duplicate key kiwi. Can't happen because uh, like map cannot understand which value to take because this is a duplicate value, right? And it's attempting to merge by itself. It cannot merge. So manually we have to merge or basically we have to provide a method which helps it to merge. So for that reason, we will use uh, a merge method. This takes existing duplicate. Here we need to give a comma. Yes. And we want to return the existing or the first value which is there. So basically we are resolving the conflict here. Okay. And this is merging. So collect a method uh, like this class has a uh, like a function via which we can resolve the conflict which is arising and now you will see that we get the output because this gets resolved and uh, it may so happen that you may take the latest value as well so instead of picking for existing you can also opt for duplicate and you will get the same value same output so basically we are just trying to like uh, tell map that which value to pick okay and this is how you get this question done. Okay, so this was also an easy one. And thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up in the next video.